What's up, it's your boy Cub Dub, AKA Coach Cubby, putting my lovers in the game. I'm here with your boy, play all day. What's happening, baby? What's going on, Brody? No, my chillin' chillin'. Uh, we got a couple questions for you. I mean, a few. Uh, first of all, how did you come up with your name? Uh, play all day, really, uh, I, I play a lot, man. You know, no matter how serious the situation is, I get my little jokey joke in. Right. So, you know, and I just go by Jay, so Jay play all day. That's that's really what a lot of people used to say when I used to hang with him and have fun. Jay, you play all day. <laughs> so, but to me, it's more it's more than just a name. It's just uh, a lifestyle. You know, we in the game, we playing the game right now. This thing called life. Right. You know, and you just gotta keep playing it, no matter what you go through, all the downfalls, all the trauma, everything. You just gotta keep playing it. Every day you wake up, you're still in the game. So, you know, really, it's, it's more than just having fun and playing all day. Right. It's just like it's a way to like you always want to be a comedian or is this just something that you picked up recently? Uh no, I, I never always wanted to be a comedian. It just that uh, I always been the energy, you know, like right. whenever I'm in a group with somebody, I can relate to them and I just the uh center of attention, class clown, all that. Um so it was something that eventually I decided that I I wanted to do, you know, after just being around a group of people and they keep saying you should do it like on set, you should go on stage, you should like do more than just be around us, you know? Right. Just do more with that, touch more people. So now it's like, okay, I like being a comedian because I do like touching other people and, you know, staying. Uh, do you practice or rehearse? Or do you just go up on there and do what you got to do? Like, how, how does that work when you get up on stage or when you're doing stand up comedy? I never uh, rehearse, I don't practice. I just go up there and just be myself. And I think that's what makes me different from other comedians. It's, it's all freestyle. I never wrote before. So for the most part, uh, I think that's what makes me stand out. And not knocking no one who do rehearse because it's good to have clean, good material there. Right. You know, always rehearse, always practice. But I'm so goofy, y'all. It's always a million things funny going on in my right. head. So if I got five minutes to let it out, <laughs> Right. right, I'm up there, you know, even if I rehearse it, I'm gonna forget what I rehearse because like so much I just, you know, experience in this little quick minute, I want to get out, you know, so it's better freestyle because when I go there with nothing, it's just a better feel that people could see like that just happened, you know, so uh, I think that um, freestyle right now is my big, my biggest advantage. Right, okay, all right. Um, what are some of the highlights of your career thus far? I mean, like, have you done anything big or, like? Um, outside of graduating acting school, I think that for stand-up, the, uh, the biggest thing to me right now is hosting shows now, you know, just uh, willingly. I never thought I'd be able to do that, so that's something I'm having fun with, too. Um, being um, able to network with so many different promoters and, and business people who want to host, like, who want to book me, I think that's probably the, the biggest highlight as of right now. Right. Okay. What do you do with uh, uh, people that interrupt your show, like people in the crowd, hecklers? <laughs> what, what, like, how do you handle that? Uh, man, I use that to my advantage. I'm already up there freestyling, so if you interrupt, you getting fried. Like, right. it, you just help me out. You know, so I got 10 minutes. And the, and the part that a lot of people don't really notice, like, when I step in the venues, I'm already roasting everybody in my head anyway. Right. So it's like, by the, <laughs> <laughs> so by the time I get on stage, you know, like one fuck up, yeah, I got so much I already said in my head. Now I gotta let everybody know. <laughs> right. So you can interrupt, it's over. You know, like, yeah, man, I just be, I be locked and loaded when I'm up in there, man. Google, like, what's the most embarrassing moment that you've had on stage? Like, has it been like uh, something that happened to you on stage where you like, dang, I ain't, I'll never want to revisit that. Uh, embarrassing moments for me, no, really, I haven't been uh, booed at all yet. You know, um, thankfully for that. Um, but now, nah, like, I won't say it's too embarrassing, but like, just hearing other people comedy sometimes it's like embarrassing if I gotta go after them or you know if I gotta wake the crowd up right them to me them be my most embarrassing moments for me but um as far as anything that happened to me uh no nah, not yet you know I'm, 
I'm knocking on wood that one. I ain't ready for that yet. Fall off stage or something like that. You know, now they got a big one. Right. But yeah, nothing now. All right, what, what would you consider to be like a, like the perfect crowd to perform in front of? A perfect crowd to perform in front of would definitely be a drunk crowd. You know, um, this they do they more loose, they more open, man. They not scared to laugh out loud. You know, they already let go of that that little that wall that everybody have. You know, right. that they have behind when they trying to get the feel of the room. You know, get the feel of the people. Right. But people, when I go in, they already been drinking. You know, that's why I like to go close to the end because they already drinking. A little bit, right. but sometimes it hurt too if I wait too long. Cause now they they bored, you know. Who to say three boring people went up and now they, they dry. So right. do I go first? So I just feel the crowd first to see when that drink hit. Then I'll be like, I right, I rather go up at this time. Or something. All right. Okay. Um. So is there a line that you won't cross with uh, telling a joke? Or like, I mean, like, do you spare feelings at all, or do you just go at? It? Um, I wouldn't cross no pedophilia jokes, man. Keep them sexual kid activity. Keep that out uh, out of all jokes, out of all material. And it ne it's never funny to me. It's like a confession more than anything. And I'll be doing a when I do shows and I hear people up there just confessing. You know, it's like every week, same joke, touching kids, touching kids, and they eventually I say something. But now, not with that, and I mean, racist. You can find human and racist jokes, right? As long as in like dark racist, like okay, now you're trying it. So, right. I think just for me, yeah, just uh, that the kids and um, racism as of right now. What do you do besides comedy? I mean, like, do you do anything else? Like, you work or anything like, or is this what pays the bills? No, I definitely, I definitely got a full-time job still. Um, right now, I'm just trying to have five different sources of income, you know, so that way you're not really falling just on one thing. So, you know, clothing line, that's next. I'm working on that. Um, Stand-up, obviously, uh, commercials, um, movies, things like that, but I still have a job, too. Like I said, I need something to fall back on, but this point is just a balance between what's going to get paid more. Right. Who's your biggest inspiration? My favorite. Uh, show Martin, you could tell that was really him. He wasn't playing the character. Right. So Martin, I could tell that that was that was all coming off the strength of him just being goofy. And many of you met him in real life and was like, that's really how he is. Or he was at the time, you know, coming up. But um, still, just Martin, um, a lot of people that just they self outside of, you know, the big Hollywood thing. You know, you right. meet them in person, that's really them, they're nasty, goofy, nasty, everything. But uh, the biggest motivation for me now is my kids and my family, for sure. Everyone in my family trying to do something. You know, my sisters, they owning their own businesses. They, they also doing, it's a lot of business behind it. A lot of people, like biggest motivation as of today. Right. Especially my family, so everyone owning something, they chasing their dreams. You can just see everybody just pushing to do more than a nine to five. So really, just my um, my relatives, and then a lot of people I work with too. Anyone that's trying to do something outside of their nine to five is my biggest inspiration. I get inspired off of that. I'm, I'm it, it's it's motivating to see other people still pushing too. It's like you're not the only one. Right. So I'm just really feeding off that positive energy. All right. So uh. What's next for Jay Play all day? I mean, like, uh, uh, do you plan on continue with the uh, stand up comedy? Do you plan on getting into some movies or uh, what's up? Uh, definitely the biggest thing is uh, the ultimate goal is acting, for sure. Okay. Stand up, I'm just having fun with right now and I'm growing with because that could also play a lot of roles with acting. Exactly. So I'm having more fun with this because this was going on my everyday life, but I'm definitely still auditioning for different things. Of commercial movies, just finished acting school. But um, what's next is the 24th, June 24th, 2020. Manitowoc, I do have a big show starting at 6 o'clock. Tickets go on sale soon. They're working on that. Um, June 24th, it'll be coming up real big. First show in Manitowoc. Funny as hell with tickets, only 10 bucks. That's it. $10.
I'm gonna have different comedians too, but I'm, I'm gonna take over. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we're gonna close the show right. You know, so I, I will get a longer time. Um, but these guys are hilarious. These guys are uh, they wonderful, man. I want them to open up for me. But June 24th, Martin Calendars, that's what's next. Nothing else matters. Right now, it's a show. Yes, sir. All right. What did you guys have? You know what I'm saying? Jay play all day. Yes, sir. Nice meeting with you guys. Appreciate your time. And I hope that you continue to do what you do. Much love, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.